What's up everyone, I hope you're having a good day. My name's George or Apache, and a few weeks ago, my tiny house video, which I'm sure you've probably all seen, hit the milestone of 10 million views. I think it's actually got 11 million views now, which is just crazy to me. And on top of that, the follow-up video where I went over how much everything cost me to buy the house and renovate it, that video also hit a milestone of a million views. So in the past, over time, the greatest films have always had trilogies. We're talking The Godfather, The Lord of the Rings, and of course, who could forget? So based on the success of those trilogies, I thought that I would take inspiration and make a third installment to my tiny house story and show you how much YouTube paid me for my tiny house videos. So before we jump in, I just wanna say three quick things. Number one, I recently got my silver play button award for this channel. And I just wanna say thank you all so much for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. That's actually the second channel I've hit 100K on this year and third time overall. Number two, it's a shameless plug, but yesterday I released my course, YouTube Blueprint, which basically reveals everything I do on YouTube to grow my channels and get all of these plaques. So if you're new to YouTube and want to grow your channel, then I'll drop a link down below where you can check that out and learn from a sort of clickbait master. And number three, this video where I reveal how much YouTube paid me for these couple of videos, it's not intended to be like a weird flex or boastful or big headed. I just really like watching other people's videos on this topic where they reveal how much YouTube pays them or where they go over ways that they make money in unusual ways or make money online. It's just a topic that I'm really interested in. So that's why I want to make videos on it as well. But with that said, if people don't like this kind of content, if they find that it's a bit tacky or they think I shouldn't be sharing this kind of information, you can just leave a comment and let me know and I'll just decide, should I make videos like this based on the response? So with all of that said, let's jump into the numbers and see how much YouTube paid me for my tiny house videos. So I'll go through this month by month just because I think it's the most interesting way to do it. In January, when I first uploaded it, I uploaded it on January 27th. I got 52 views and I got 26 cents for that. So my best day was here where I got 34 views and that translated to 18 cents. Next up we have February and for February I got 189 views and that translated to 75 cents. And my best day was here where I got 41 views and that gained me a whopping 15 cents. So next up was March which was my biggest month things went crazy it obviously hit everyone's home page and that's where i got all of the views so for march i got 6.3 million views and that converted to twenty three thousand two hundred and twenty three dollars and 98 cents and my best day was here on march 26th where i got just under 1.2 million views in a single day and that got me $3,759.22, which is more than I used to make in a month as a video editor, which is crazy. And it was kind of that way for all of that week. I was making between like two and a half and 3,000 a day, which is just crazy to me. It's uh, mind boggling. So that was March, that was the best month. And then next with April, still a very good month. I got 1.8 million views and that gained me $11,922.23. And my best day was here where I got 155,000 views and that got me $829.28. Next up we had May and for May I had slightly less views. I got 1.2 million and that got me $7,414. And my best day was here. These days were pretty much the same, about 95,000 views and that got me $477.23. Next was June, and things went a bit better for June. I got 1.6 million views, which was 400,000 more, and that got me just under $8,000. My best day here was 150,000 views, just under it. And again, that gave me $615.43. And then we have July, which is the month that's just ended. And that was my lowest month so far ever since it took off. And I got just under 400,000 views and that got me $1,886.26. And 
and my best day was here where I got 18,429 views and that got me $108. So overall, if I change this to the lifetime stats, the video got 11.3 million views and that converted to $52,400.69, which is just ludicrous. I can't believe that I got that much off a single video. And as I said, the follow-up video did well as well. It got 1.1 million views and that gained me $4,577.76. So together across these two videos, I made about $57,000. And because I'm from Scotland, we use pounds here. So that 57,000 converts to 46,817. And 26 pence so for all my UK viewers that's the exchange rate on that income which is crazy it is nice because obviously it's a lot of money which is nice but on top of that the house cost a lot more than I thought it would the renovation cost a lot more than I thought it would so there was a lot of unexpected costs when actually renovating the house so to have a lot of these unexpected kind of profits come back was really nice and unexpected and obviously welcome. So it worked out in a nice way. I'm so grateful to you all for watching the video and I hope this video doesn't piss anyone off. Like I said, if you don't like these kind of videos where I speak about money and kind of reveal things like this, then I'd absolutely understand. Now I do wanna say I'm very sorry for not uploading all that much recently. I was working on the course. I didn't realize how long that would take but also my intention for this channel is to do tiny house tours where I basically go around Scotland and stay in other people's tiny houses and film the experience and just kind of what they've got going on. Because it's high season, because it's summer and everyone's on holiday right now, and because staycations are so much more popular these days, ever since COVID, people just kind of opt to stay at home rather than go abroad. I think all of the tiny houses have just been booked up because of that. So as we move forward in the next couple of weeks, I do have another tiny house that I'm visiting actually next week. And then as we move into like autumn and winter, I'm thinking that as people go back to work and school, a lot of these places will have more bookings available and I can make more of those kind of videos. So I appreciate you being patient and I appreciate you sticking around and I will have some good videos up soon. Thank you very much for watching and supporting the channel and I'll see you all in the next one.